YouTubers, what we are going to do today is we're going to make some luggage tags. These are um, another cut and sew project, so we're going to cut them out of some faux leather and then sew them together. Um, they're pretty quick and easy to make, actually. Um, it's two different files, but we're going to make them together because it's basically the same idea. Um, this is a more traditional luggage tag with all your information out here. And then this one has like a little flap, so it, it kind of hides your information. So let me go show you what you need. All right. So when you go online and buy either one of the files, you're going to get three versions of the tag. Um, one's going to have an oval, one's going to have a circle, and then one's not going to have an opening at all. And it, so you have different options of attaching your tag to your, your luggage. This one, the opening is one inch by 0.3 of an inch. And that way you can go buy straps off Amazon if you wanted to. I've included a file and it's basically a giant rectangle, if you wanted to make your own strap. So it fits in here if you want it. You could also make this shorter with some good old scissors. And you could use something like the cam snaps and make your own, make your own tag and, and put the snaps on it if you wanted to. Or for the circle, I just bought some of these. They're um, the cable ties and they screw together and then you can use those for the circles. And then if you had the one without a hole, you can make some with some of the um, crocodiles. With the, you can make them and, and then put the fancy little holders in them if you wanted to. It's really up to you and how you wanted to do this. Um, you have options if you want, to, whatever you want to do, you have options for it. Now these are designed to fit a standard business card. A standard business card is three and a half inches by two inches tall. I've also included the file it's called information card. And so if you want to make your own, if you want to put their own name on there, heck, if you want to print this with a toner printer and foil it, you absolutely can, but it'll fit inside of here. Um, these are both set to fit a standard, a standard business card. If you have a crazy sized one, it's not going to fit, but a standard business card. Also, you will need, you will need some um, faux leather or vinyl or whatever you want to do. I'm just using the Cricut one. It's the most popular and easy to find. The key to cutting these is a new blade. And so what I just did is I put some tape around mine. And then once this starts to not cut so well, we will remove the tape. And you can still use this for like other things. It'll be fine for HTV for a while. But the key to cutting this vinyl is definitely to, um, or right, the key to cutting this leather is definitely a new blade. And then I've been using a primarily sticky mat um, so it doesn't move around so much. And I've also been putting it face down on the mat, um, partly because that's what the directions say, but also the back of this is kind of fuzzy and it's just gonna kill a mat quickly if you put it fuzzy side down. Um, and you're also gonna need a sewing machine and some thread. Um, preferably a matching bobbin, but as always, I don't seem to ever do that. So you're going to have to sew along the sides here. And so you're going to want a matching bobbin as well. So let me go show you this in the software. All right. So when you open your zip folder, this is what you're going to get. This one is the luggage tag with a hole. This one is without a hole. And then this one is the oval. This was the strap I showed you. And then this is the information card I showed you. Um, this is what they'll look like. So this is the, so these three would be in one file together. This is the strap, the information card, oval, hole, and then none. And then this is the other one. This is the one with the flap. So we'll make one of each today. So we are gonna make the circle. And then I just have this in a standard, in my standard uh, silhouette cameo mat. And then also, if you're using the DXX file or if you're in a Cricut program, make sure that there's the correct size. So this one should be two and a half inches wide by 10 inches tall. This one should be two and a half, 2.5 by 9.5 inches. So, and basically just put them on here. Now this guy, you probably, I don't know if you can see it. It has a black line right here, just leave it alone. It just needs to cut right there. Um, that's making your flap. If you ungroup it, you can move them around, but don't do that. And so now we're gonna hit the sun panel. 
And then because it is an imported SVG, we have no cut lines. So I'm gonna come and turn on the cut lines. And then we're gonna go to, I made some custom settings for this Cricut leather. And I've been using a blade of five, a speed of three, and a force of 33 with one pass. Now you need to test it after you cut it and make sure that it's actually cut. If it hasn't, I would send it through and make it cut it again. Um, new blade, like I said, um, and then test cut, test cut before you do this. I have two machines. I have a pink one. I've one's covered in pink rhinestones and one's covered in gold rhinestones and they both cut differently. So definitely a uh, test cut before you just kind of run with my settings. No earthly idea why it is so dark right here, but this is our faux leather stuck. Um, I put the, the finish side down and the nice side is up. And it's loaded in and we're going to hit send. Alright, so before you pull it out, pull up some of it and make sure that it will, that it is um, actually cut. And this blade's kind of really getting there. The other thing is, um, a couple of things. If you're going to do a lot of this, you might really want to look into one of the CBO9 blades. Um, they're the big kits. Well, not big kits, but they're the metal ones with the, the different tips you can put in because it's really will kill a blade pretty quick. See, mine's already kind of having trouble. Um, the other nice thing with the, the gift tags or the luggage tags is you can probably you can fit four on a, on a mat. So they're not that expensive um, compared to some other crafting. So what I've done now is I have turned on the heat press because once you do this, this is what you're going to get. So after they come off the mats, they're going to curl up. So um, before we go and sew them, I just like to press them. That way it helps them keep their shape while you're sewing. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to fold them down and they're going to line on up. So you're basically just folding them in half. And then for this one, you're going to sew all the way around the outside edge. And then for this one, you're just going to fold this guy up to, up to where the, the top of the, I guess the trapezoid starts, the top of the slant starts. And you're going to fold it and line it up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to the heat press and then squish them a little bit. So that way when we're sewing, they're not trying to do that. And then for the heat press, I have it heat, uh, heated up until somewhere in the 200s. It doesn't have to be like ridiculously hot. Um, just kind of sort of warm enough to squish. You can also, if you want to, um, this is one I just drew. I really liked them. Uh, you can put on HTD if you want to. You can also foil quill it if you want to. Um, that new foil quilt if you want to do a design on the back or on the front you could also embroider these as well if you wanted to So there's lots of personalized options. All right, so we're roughly Three or we're 260 right now Fold and then And then I kind of press it for 10 seconds or so. And see, and then that way it just keeps its shape much better. This one's a little more wrangly. So we're over at the sewing machine and I just have a simple straight straight line stitch on here and for this one we're gonna sew all the way around and in your sewing machine your bobbin matches but in mine of course it doesn't also make sure to back stitch so that your stitches don't come out and there is that one 
And then for this one, we're just gonna do two straight seams right down the sides. All right, so we have them all sewn now. Um, now, depending on how tight you put your seams in there will determine how, um, how kind of securely your business cards are held in there. Um, obviously, the tighter the seams are, the uh, closer they are going to be. So. so there's this one. And you can on this one see a little bit of, of the card. It was just to make this big enough so y'all could put whatever you wanted into. We had a little bit of the business card showing. And then there's this one. And then this one, I just pushed all the way to the back so that... And then if you wanted to put in a, a fatter seam, it won't move as much. Which is kind of up to you. So there you go. You have your own personalized luggage tag that you can decorate with vinyl. You can foil quill. You can do whatever you want to with. And then from here, you would add whatever strap you wanted if you wanted a pre-made one. If you wanted, this is one of the cable ones that you, you screw together. You can put it on, um, whatever you want to. Um, and then you're done. It's really easy. Basically cut out, fold together, and sew. This is really easy. Um, and it's fairly inexpensive because from one sheet you can get four uh, luggage tags. Um, if you have any questions, let me know. And please like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.